So I'm going to show you how to make this CD tapestry thing made out of mostly stuff that you already have. So 15 years ago, Hannah Montana came out and I was enamored. I loved everything, the show, the music, and especially one photo shoot on the back of the season one soundtrack really stood out to me. She was walking through this curtain thing of CDs and I think it was really trendy in the mid 2000s to like have dangly curtain things that you could walk through, whether that was like curtains of beads or whatever. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a DIY project with a bunch of CDs that my family and I have not played for years. Because streaming's the way to go, baby. <laughs> I've marked where I want to melt down the holes and then I come here take this wood burner that's heated up and I just go right in there. I start on this side because that's where I did the sharpie and then I go to the other side and then I make the hole bigger and like flat and make sure that you know I could definitely put an object through it whether that's like a key ring thing or um, in my case I'm just gonna use paper clips. Yeah there's like stringy plastic stuff that hangs off of it. There's also like industrial cutter things that I saw some people on the internet use to make these holes but I don't have that and also like these CD CDs are really brittle so you can't just use normal like hole punchers to punch the holes. Cool okay I've already punched holes on these 20-ish there's some plastic strings hanging off. We'll have to like clean it up. The assembly part. So I have a container full of paper clips about the same size. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take two CDs with the holes punched in, and then I'm gonna go non-shiny side to non-shiny side, back to back, and get the holes to line up. So, uh, there, I can peek through the hole, there. All right, and then, I'm going to move my paper clip to where it's like a triangle kind of a thing and then I'm going to poke through both holes uh, and then move one of the CDs to the other end so now the triangle is like this um, and then I'm going to close the paper clip like so so now it's attached um, I'm going to kind of keep going like this until I get a chain. So to add another one to a chain, all you do is, again, non-shiny side to non-shiny side. Like so. And then take the paper clip, make it into a triangle, poke it through both CDs. and close the paper clip. We got a chain here. Very exciting stuff. The CDs are all lined up and ready. Now I just have to figure out how I want to hang it up. This next part that I'm doing, I'm going to go through and string in all together using yarn. I don't know how well this is going to work. I might redo it a couple times. I don't really have much of a methodology here. I'm just sort of eyeballing it and trying to keep them sort of the equal distance away from the next column and yeah, tying it with yarn to secure it in place. Whoa, beautiful. Look at that. All right, I'm about to walk through this. Uh, the Hannah Montana moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> what if instead I just made the CDs the backdrop of this lovely white wall here in my bathroom? And then I'm going to take these command strip hook things and peel off the wall side. I did it. I made the thing. There's only four columns of it, so it does look a little sad. It's not like a full-blown curtain, but I did it and I'm proud of it and I 
don't have any more CDs. <laughs> My initial setup completely fell down. I felt like a pimp for like 10 minutes with the infinity mirror CD tapestry situation. And then I think my command strips just couldn't handle all the weight. So today I'm going to try to put it up again. And this time I'm using three command hooks instead of just two. And um, the two on the end, I'm gonna have at a diagonal like this. Um, so that it can also handle some of that horizontal load going on. Um, cause before I had them just completely vertical and it's not holding a straight up, up and down load. It's holding up a string that's kind of pulling like this. So yeah, let's begin. All right. I've already measured out where I want everything to sit on the wall and this is kind of more of a heavy duty one. So I'm gonna have this, this more heavy duty one in the middle, like so. Oh, um. Now I'm gonna put these at a diagonal like this um, so that it can handle the horizontal load. These are the hooks I'll be using and putting at each of the ends and I'll be placing these vertical or hor like diagonally. Probably at a 45 degree angle. I'm not really sure what's appropriate. Never really hung a CD tapestry before. All right, now I'm gonna go and press down. I'm gonna get a chair, not very tall. Moment of truth. Time to put this on. Uh. Ta da! It is complete. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at this infinity mirror situation. Okay, I'm back out. There it is. Look at it. It's crazy. And here's the view from here. Obviously, you can't really see the whole infinity mirror CD tapestry situation from this angle. However, look at this. Whoa. So cool. Anyway. Guys, 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 I'm so excited about this CD tapestry. I think it's actually working this time now that I have three hooks instead of two, and the outer hooks are diagonal. Look at it, it's so much fun to play with. Look at how the uh, rainbow reflection things change based on the angle and everything. Also, I love how you could literally see a reflection of the entire tapestry in the CDs. Uh, or, where'd it go? There it is, see that? kind of the reflection. Whoa, inception. Not really. Having way too much fun playing with this. Anyway, I really encourage you guys to make this. Let me know in the comments if you do and how it goes. Everyone has CDs. Well, most anyone, everyone, and most of the people I know have a bunch of CDs that they don't really use anymore. And yeah, most everyone has paper clips. This is a pretty cheap activity. Um, it's just paper clips, CDs. I use some yarn and some command hooks. So yeah, happy crafting. This is so cool. so much for watching this video it really really means a lot please like if you enjoyed the video comment below I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe have a nice day